as aditya thakre's constituency woli has always demanded extra attention and this time the electoral battle in woli assembly seat has become even more interesting and even more intriguing all thanks to mr milind devra who is contesting on a shiv sena ticket thanks a lot for talking to us mr devra i'm going to start with a very basic but still an important question why woli because you know conventionally you are always associated with malabar hill and the nearby regions the that particular place is you know traditionally said to be your karm bhoomi so why woli look firstly uh, my family has been uh, we've been very fortunate to have the trust of the people of south mumbai uh since 1968 my father first fought a corporation at municipal co council election in 1968 he fought an mla election in 1980 uh from 1979 i believe or 78 and then from 1980 onwards we have been fighting parliament elections from all of south mumbai so i consider all of south mumbai from worli to kolaba as my extended family uh you said malabar hill is my karma bhumi i consider all of south mumbai my uh janma bhumi karma bhumi and uh, the issues are very similar across across the region uh the th there is a huge change in the landscape in the urban landscape you're seeing slums and chawls when they get redeveloped you typically see towers and high rises coming there uh that's changing the demographic pattern that's changing the issues that requires different kinds of infrastructure so these issues are very similar locally uh but ultimately look an mla or a mp i have always believed it's very unfair to say that the mp's job is only national issues not to focus on local issues yeah. we've always balanced local with national uh, us in my opinion a state legislator's job is to balance uh, uh, local with regional with even national sometimes and all of these issues if you are really committed to this it doesn't matter which post you hold it doesn't matter whether you're in power or not what matters is do you have a connection with the people do you really want to serve the people so this is the objective this is not a personal battle uh it's not personal it's a political battle it's to try and ensure that mumbai moves forward and to elevate the discourse beyond just a local constituency but to ensure that the city moves forward the state moves forward today uh you know the the country has a dream of becoming the prime minister has a dream of making india 5 trillion dollar economy a fifth of that 20% of that will come from maharashtra how do we take maharashtra forward how do we ensure that it, we have the right policies in place to attract investments to create jobs to bring in sectors of the future and in that 1 trillion dollar pie of maharashtra mumbai and the mmr region will play a huge role so all these so are every mla is going to pay, uh, play a very important role my question is you know this is for the first time you are contesting state uh, elections was it always part of the plan if yes why the rajya sabha detour and if not was it party's decision was no, this you is something which contest? was this is something which was discussed internally and this is before lok sabha or after lok sabha no no just i mean recently okay. and this is something where we've all decided that uh, it's important to give the people of worli the people of mumbai the people of maharashtra the justice they deserve to ensure that there's a growth that growth trajectory in the city and the state continue um and ultimately you sometimes you do these things to strengthen an alliance to strengthen your party right. so it's all these factors put together but for me worli or kolaba are not alien to me in fact all of mumbai is an area which we know we are very familiar with you are a mumbai boy for that man i am a mumbai boy born and bred mumbai boy i understand the issues the issues are very similar across all groups if you are someone living in a tower in a high rise you have a certain set of problems and aspirations if you are someone living in a slum or chawl you have a certain set of problems and aspirations these change a little bit here and there from constituency to constituency more or less of course from state to parliament but broadly they're the same uh we you also spoke about your alliance parties now it is across parties this uh, uh, pattern is across parties whether it's mahayuti or mahavikas agadi the party workers the cadre is angry with either the newcomers to the party getting a ticket or you know for example a shaina nc from a different party getting a ticket uh, on your of your party that this has angered the karyakartas how do you take this because you are also a newcomer to this party i don't think there's any anger uh, anger especially they with are, me there are cross nominations I, well, across I've the been, alliances i've been in this party now for 10 months um i have an old relationship with shiv sena in this base even when i was in the congress party uh, my late father had a very close relationship with bala saheb thakre they were they had different set of views uh politics was very different then but had a very close personal relationship in fact bala saheb uh, ensured my father became mayor of mumbai in 76 so sometimes you know i believe politics has to transcend these petty lines and i think politics has unfortunately not just in uh, maharashtra but around the world really 
has become very polarized. You know, you stand for this and I don't want to see the other side. I stand for a certain view and I'm very rigid, dogmatic and I don't want to see the other side. People have to become flexible. People have to realize that our systems, um, India's constitution, America's constitution were designed for differences, but ultimately for people to come together and see the greater good. Right, as is a diverse country, but uh, coming back to my question, yeah. the party workers, and this I say for all the parties, because cross from cross nomination to the you. rebellion, everything is visible. There are areas where, look, there are always areas in every party and in every alliance, even in the opposition and in every election, where especially as you go to state to regional politics, you will find many aspirants. In a parliamentary election, you typically have one, maybe two aspirants from each party. In a par assembly election, a local election, you'll have three, four, five aspirants. That happens, that's but natural. But I can assure you in Worli, there is no such thing. In Worli, everyone is united. Um, all the Mahayuti and NDA partners are united. In other areas where there is some rebel, we'll know in a short while what happens. Okay, this is a question from CNBC TV 18's makeup team because many of them are, you know, they live in Worli. They have specifically asked me to ask you this, that two hospitals, Kamdar and Podar, yes. they are not the way they used to be. They are yes. not the... Uh, center of treatment they once were known yes. uh, for being and another thing is you know there is a no uh, uh, you know reputed per se English medium school in Woli. Uh, do you have any plans for these two aspects? I, I would, I'm, I'm grateful for their suggestions uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward during the course of this campaign to hear good suggestions but I'm very well aware of the issue of Podar Hospital and this is something which is certainly on my agenda. Do you have a plan? That's what you want. They well, want I think that, the, look, Podar Hospital is an Ayurvedic hospital. It's very important to refurbish it. The good thing is that our own party in the center, we have a minister who's the minister of Ayush, under which this comes under. So we'll work with the center, we'll work with the state to but ensure that... But the allopathic that, side of things, because, you know, Ayurveda is not something which everybody... Well, well, it's well, contested yeah, also well, by as medical I said, that, that ensuring that world, people of worldly have access to good quality health care, have good quality to education, whether it's upgrading a municipal school to take it to a quality of an English medium private school. Those are also things we can look at. But as I said, I'm here to listen to the suggestions. So I'm grateful to your makeup team for their valuable suggestions. No, no, they Burley wanted me to a, ask your plan, not they, this one, not no, a suggestion, my, they my, wanted to my, know your plan. My, my plan, look, if I make a plan, Aditya Thakre made a plan five years ago that he'll make Worli A++. What's happened to that plan? So no, my answer to them, seek no, votes, you'll have to you have to, a plan, you have to right? present yeah. a plan that says the, you'll do your best. You'll hear people. Anyone who promises a plan that says, I'll do this to Podar Hospital and I'll do that, is basically over-promising and may under-deliver. My only commitment to your team would be that I'm well aware of the medical needs of that area. I'm very well aware of that. That's something which in every meeting, in every round, even as a South Mumbai, as an MP of the Rajya Sabha, who considers himself a South Mumbai MP, we're aware of the issues of Podar Hospital and other healthcare needs. So we will work collectively, as I said, in power, out of power, to ensure that people of Worli living in their area get access to good quality healthcare. It's very unfortunate if someone living in Worli has to go to Harkishandas Hospital, has to go to Saifi Hospital, which are the hospitals they use. If they want to go to other hospitals, which are BMC hospitals, they go to Nair and other areas, which are not in their area, to give the people of Worli, where the population has also grown, um, access to high quality healthcare, affordable healthcare. That is something which is part of the plan. Details will come in the days to come. Hey, thank you for watching this on CNBC TV 18. Hope you liked it. For more such interesting news and updates, follow CNBC TV 18 on all the social media platforms.